Chad, Steve, and Harris discover the fishing boat today on Days of Our Lives. Dimitri also opens out to Kate. John pays tribute to Marlena, and Alex makes a final mistake. John visits Marlena's workplace. She announces that she is finished for the day because her last patient has left for a crucial meeting. John is curious about the total number of patients she has served. She has never given it any thought. According to John's calculations, there are 5,000 patients. Marlena is uncertain of that. In either case, John argues it should be honored. Alex and Maggie have a phone conversation at the bistro. She reports that Bo's condition has not changed. He says that he is currently waiting for Yuri. By the time the check arrives, he is certain that Titan will be doing business with Yuri's tech company. Maggie tells him everything is laid out. He only needs to complete the transaction. Alex is informed. Even someone was sent in to assist him. Stephanie shows up. Steve and Harris visit Chad in his hotel room in Greece. They claim that a tiny motorboat washed up on an island, but no signs of life were there. They believe Kate was taken by a passing ship. As Kate chops fish on the boat, Dimitri summons her to his cabin. She receives an invitation to supper from him. He should stuff it up his ass, she says him. He reasoned that she had been neglecting the better things in life, such as the wine bottle he opens, not to mention the lobster and cobe steaks being prepared by his personal chef. Kate is reluctantly persuaded to sit. To make her smell a little less fishy, he insisted she take a shower and change into a gown beforehand. John asks what one should order at the pub to recognize the 5,000-person milestone. Marlena isn't sure that number is accurate yet. When she considers her profession in the past, he wonders what stands out the most. She remembers Mickey Horton, who was her very first patient. John advises that they visit a fancier location, such as the bistro. Marlena makes it. She doesn't want to put her patient out of his element, because his customer might be around. As Yuri enters the bistro, Stephanie makes an effort to alleviate Alex's anxiety. Those in their thirties Yuri has his hair styled into a low pompadour and is dressed in a tailored suit. He is curious about Maggie. He has experience dealing with the boss. Alex gives him the documents and reassures him that he is current. He only needs to sign. Yuri would like to first talk about the dubious expansion plan. When Alex stands up for Maggie's viewpoint, Yuri labels her as out of touch and inquires as to her age. Stephanie makes a comment and queries the significance. While adamant that he is not a misogynist, Yuri shows the contrary. Alex praises Maggie, especially given that she is fresh to the industry. Yuri was about to get into a billion-dollar agreement with a complete novice and was unaware of it. Harris conducts an online search in Chad's room. In the vicinity of where Kate's boat was discovered, he discovers a cargo ship. They learn that it belongs to Dimitri von Luschner and has been anchored in the water for some weeks. In Beyond Salem, Chad remembers how Dimitri was chasing the Alemanian peacock, a statue with the power to annihilate an entire city. He questions whether Dimitri kidnapped Kate as retaliation for Billy's assassination of him. Steve believed he was housed in the supermax. Marlena continues to question John's claim that she saw 5,000 patients as they eat. John chuckles as he takes into account the listener calls to her radio show. He is aware that she has helped many people back from the edge. He remembers her actually doing that, which caused her to trip and fall. Maggie comforts Roman at the hospital in Greece over the predicament involving Bo and Kate. He remarks that she is tough herself, taking control of Titan, after she tells him that Kate is resilient and will persist. She hopes it wasn't Alex a mistake to leave While Alex Maggie alone. might not get Yuri's technological objectives, he does at the bistro. He convinces Yuri to sign the contract by enticing him with a daring plan. After that, they'll make a few adjustments. Stephanie worries, but Yuri advises her to pay attention to Alex. Yuri uses the bathroom to get a jolt of energy. Alex is asked by Stephanie what he is doing. Harris finds out at the hotel that the person chilling his heels in Dimitri's cell is a fake. Dimitri might so be traveling with Kate on the cargo ship. Steve gives Harris a firearm. Where is his? Chad queries. They inform him that as he is a civilian and the father of two young children, he will remain where he is. Chad reassures them that he can take care of himself. He has also dealt with Dimitri in the past. He may be able to detect something that they can't. Steve offers him a firearm. Kate sits with Dimitri after changing into a floor-length black dress with a dangling sparkling necklace. 
She excitedly eats while inquiring as to how Dmitri escaped from jail. He says he kept a lot of resources there and exchanged places with a miserable sap. Stephanie begs Alex to be resolute and persuade Yuri of Maggie's plan at the bistro. Alex advises that adhere to the conditions of the original agreement when Yuri comes back. Yuri is unable to make a judgment at this time since he lacks sufficient knowledge on Mags. Yuri goes out. Alex shouts after him as Stephanie gives him the side look. John mentions Kimberly's inebriated driver, Roger Lombard, at the pub. Marlena remembers his wife throwing her into a pit. They recall how John entering the room after her renewed their love. If not for her, John claims he would still be in the dark. Every day he gives thanks to God that he met her. John describes her as a miracle worker and cites Ben's recovery as evidence. Marlena is so pleased with the man he's grown into. Chad, Steve, and Harris dispersed after traveling to the cargo ship aboard a speedboat. The bald thug pulls a gun on Steve as he investigates the fish chopping area. Kate believes Dimitri wants immunity because he isn't requesting a ransom at his cabin. Dimitri agrees but also expresses a desire for something more intimate. Chad barged in with his revolver pulled before he could explain what that was to her. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.